This is the first dry evening we've had in the last couple of weeks, so I've decided to get myself out and do another rabbit hunt. And as I'm making my way down into the first field, I've spotted this rabbit here. He's about 80 yards away at the moment. And then just to the other side of him, I've spotted these three rabbits here. They're quite small in comparison to the other one. So I'm going to try and stalk in on the bigger one of the four. So I'm using the hedge that was in front of the rabbit there to disguise my approach as I make my way in. And eventually I get to this position here. I'm about 45 yards away now. And I squat down into a kneeling position. And I shoulder the rifle. And I'm looking to thread the pellet between the bars and the gate here. And I pull it off perfectly and down he goes with a nice neat headshot. So that's the first one in the bag this evening. And I'll make my way forward to retrieve my kill. It's the perfect headshot. Straight in. Straight out there. Nice good clean kill there. Happy with that hunt. So after checking that he's a nice, clean, healthy rabbit and he's got no signs of myxomatosis, I'd pop him in the game bag. And we'll move on now to another part of the farm and see what else is about. I'm using this hedge that you can see in the background here to give me a little bit of cover as I make my way down the field and up ahead spot another rabbit but he's on a slope and there's a bit of a brow in the way so I need to make my way forward a little bit closer so I can get a nice clear shot at him once I get to the peak of the brow he's about 30 yards away at this point and he's oblivious to my presence and I take him with a nice clean shot to the back of the head so with my second rabbit down I'll make my way forward to collect it, to pop it in the game bag. This is a little doe rabbit, one of this year's offspring. I try to avoid, wherever possible, shooting young rabbits like this. But the rabbits have been doing a lot of damage on this farm recently, and the farm has asked me to reduce their numbers as much as I possibly can this year. So I'll pop her in the game bag. And we'll move on to another field. This next clip is a bit of luck on my part here. I'm slowly making my way down this hedge line, hoping to see some rabbits out at the base of this wood. When all of a sudden, a rabbit pops out the hedge in front of me. He's only 30 yards away. So I very, very slowly get myself into a comfortable shooting position. And I'm going to have to take him with a freehand shot as, I, as I'm stood. And I take careful aim here. And I dispatch him nice and cleanly. So here's that rabbit you just saw me shoot again. Nice neat headshot there. Perfect. In and out. Just sneaked up down the hedge. And there he was, looking straight at me. It's a nice 30 yard freehand shot there. The uh, weather's starting to turn a bit now. So I've just got a couple more fields to try. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get some more. Let's move on. I'm making my way down these access tracks back towards the farmyard when up ahead I've spotted another rabbit. This will be the final one of this evening. So I slowly take aim on this fence that you can see here. And again I dispatch him with a nice clean headshot and down he goes. And you can see there the pellet hit its mark perfect yet again. Well it's been another good and productive evening's hunting this evening. And with four rabbits in the bag, 
I'm very happy with all my stalks this evening. So all that's left to do now is skin and get my rabbits ready for the table.